Next, we'll go over how to install the Dymo Label Writer 550 Turbo Printer. First, we will have to download drivers off their website. Go to Dymo.com and click on Resources and Guides. A link directly to this page can be found in the description. Click the latest software for all label writers and label manager. Download the Windows version and launch the DCD setup exe file. Select English and click OK. It may download Microsoft ACE 2010 here if necessary. Click Next, accept the terms, and then click Next. Click Next again. Ensure that Complete is selected, and then click Next. Click Install. This may take several minutes. Click Finish when complete. Dymo software may open up and you can close it. Connect your Dymo printer to the workstation via USB. Next, you will want to access the control panel by typing it in the Windows search. Under Hardware and Sound, select Device and Printers. Right-click your Dymo printer and select Printer Properties. Access the Advanced tab and click Printer Defaults. Set the printer orientation to Landscape and click Advanced. Change paper size to 30336 1 inch by 2 and 1 8 inch and then click OK. Click Apply and then click OK. Now you'll want to add the printer to the workstation in EverLogic. Open EverLogic and go to the System Setup tab. Click Workstation and then click this Workstation button. Open the Point of Service tab and under the label barcode type Dymo Label Writer 550 Turbo and click Save. Your Dymo printer is now ready to use in Everlight. A common issue that we come across with a Dymo printer where the barcode will print too far to the left on the sticker. This can be easily fixed. First, open EverLogic on your device and go to the System Setup tab. Click System Rules. Locate the rule named Label Margin. It should be applied to Sales. Double-click Label Margin. The answer, by default, should show 0.2. This means that the label is printing 0.2 inches from the left of the default printer margin. Most of our customers use Zebra ZD410 or Zebra LP2824 Plus barcode printers, and this rule helps keep those printers aligned. However, it should be changed if you use the Dymo 550 Turbo. Change the rule to 0.01 to start, setting it to 1 one hundredth of an inch margin, then print the test barcode. If you put zero, it may cause further issues. It may need to be adjusted further depending on your specific Dymo printer.